Hey there guys, it is me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to a very late week three of the GPC. Apologies for the late upload, I've been busy, but today I am off work, I am catching up on loads of things, and I should have week four uh, uploaded for you guys on time this Sunday. So, apologies for the late uh, upload again, but we'll get straight into uh, the actual game itself. Um, as you can see, my opponent this week is Chris. Unfortunately, he has now left the league, and uh, the spreadsheet has all been changed, so I can't remember what his team name actually is. But I do know it's been replaced by Matt, also known as Kite the Fire, and uh, they are now called the Philadelphia Focus Miss. So um, this was actually Chris's swan song, I believe. I don't know if he's played his week four phone. Shut up, thank you. Um, I don't actually know if he's played his week four game or not, or whether it's Matt that's going to be playing it. So um, yeah, this is kind of like the the last thing for Chris, and I, I didn't know that at the time. So um, wish it was a better game than it actually panned out to be, but. We'll go over Chris's draft very quick, or Matt's draft, whatever you want to call it now. Um, he has got Latias, which is a Z-Move user, Celesteela, Crocodile, Horlucha, Dragalgi, Vaporeon, Thunderous Ferian, Tangler, Diancy, Golurk, and Mega Pidgeot. Um, very scary team. Um, a lot of his team, are, I'll go over the ones that lose to Mamoswine. Uh, Latias, Crocodile, Horlucha, potentially, Dragalgi, um, Thunderous, potentially, Tangler, Golurk, Mega Pidgeot and Diancy, all week to my um, my Mamo Swine's stab. So Mamo was going to be quite cool this week, but as you can see um, on the uh, the screen in front of you, uh, he did in fact bring the Latias, the Mega Pidgeot, the Trigalgy, the Horlucha, Celesteela, and the Crocodile. Now, rather stupidly, um, I was very much expecting the Trigalgy to come this week. Um, because it can deal with my my uh, Mega Sceptile pretty well, and the Flawless as well. Um, however, I completely missed the fact that it got Toxic Spikes, and as you can see, I have no form of hazard removal. Um, looking at his team, he could have Stealth Rocks on his Crook and Toxic Spikes on Trigalgy. So. That was something I missed in planning, which um, was quite costly this game, as you'll see. Um, we'll go over my team, though. Uh, I do have it on Showdown, uh, if I can quickly find it, because this game did happen over a week ago, so I don't remember my team exactly. So first up, we have got Assault Vested Heliolisk um, with U-Turn, Dark Pulse, Fundamental Hype Voice. U-Turn, obviously, because he does have that crook, it hits it super effective, and it lets me keep momentum still. The rest is uh, pretty self-explanatory. I think I was um, Assault Vested because I can take on the Mega Pidgeot quite well. Um, at that point, and I can also potentially deal with a special Celesteela, um, and also, I say deal, uh, deal with it better, um, and potentially the Dragalgy if needed as well. Next up we have Mamoswine with Expert Belt, Ice Shard, Ice Cold Crash, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. Literally only need the Ice and the um, Ground Coverage. Looking at his team, as you can see, Everything is weak to it, bar Celesteela, which is neutral to uh, ice. So that'll still take quite a decent chunk, depending on whether it's uh, physically defensive or not. Um, so Mammoth Swine, this game is really important offensively. Next up, we have Victini with uh, Choice Scarf, U-Turn, Bolt Strike, V-Create, Zen, Headbutt. Um, again, something that can just do a lot of damage to his team. As you can see, um, you know, V-Create is there to hit the Celesteela. I mean, it'll also completely decimate the Crocodile and the Horlucha as well. Zen Headbutt does hit the Horlucha and the Dragalgy. Also hits the uh, Pidgeot if needed. And Bolt Strike is there to hit the Pidgeot and the Celesteela. So I can hit a lot of his team hard again with Victini. Um, it might be something that's more of like a... A, a, a late game pickup kind of sweeper kind of thing rather than a wall breaker. Next up is Mega Sceptile with Leaf Storm, Leech Seed, Dragon Pulse, Thunder Punch. Um, I remember playing around with this set for ages. I decided to go for Leech Seed because I figured his check would be Dragalgy or Celesteela, and neither of them is going to appreciate Leech Seed because their only form of recovery is rest or leftovers. Um, Thunder Punch was there for Pidgeot. I could have bought Rock Slide because there was something else I needed, or he could have bought. Uh, but Thunder Punch does also hit the Celesteela and the Horlucha, so I figured overall that would be the best uh, kind of thing. Uh, second to last one we have got is Milotic, uh, Max Physical Defense, Skull Toxic, Rubber Dragon Tail, uh, Recover Dragon Tail. Quite self expansion really, um, deals with Celesteela really well. Um, and obviously, if he does bring the Toxic Spikes, then I will get that Mother Scale boost. Uh, and then finally, we have got Lashana, the Floor Just, which is Max Spadef, just because I needed something bulky on the Spadef, uh, especially defensive side. Moonblast, Synthesist, Worry Seed, and Giga Drain. Now, looking at Chris's team, I felt Worry Seed might be a cool meme pick because um, he's got so many mons with such cool uh, abilities. No Guard uh, on the Pidgeot, a 
adaptability on the Dragalge, Levitate on the Latias, and Burden potentially on Mole Breaker on the Horlucha and Beast Boost on the Celesteela, and potential for Moxie on Crocodile, so I thought it might be a nice cool pick, but we're going to get into the game now. I lead off with Helios because I figured it's the best thing to probably lead off against uh, his team. Um, obviously, his team is quite quick. He's got a couple of things that do actually outspeed me, so it's a risky start. But um, I do click the U-turn first turn. He protects, but he probably... Chris expects me to go for Thunderbolt next anyway, so he brings in the Dragalge. Uh, it's a pretty safe switch. So there's literally nothing I can do to hit it. And this is where I realized my mistakes very early on because I didn't bring my... Um, my any of my hazard removal this week. I have got... Well, I got, I've got Kamala and... Skarmory, both of which can deal with Toxic Spikes, so uh, I didn't have either, which is a real shame. And now um, I I've got to deal with Toxic Spikes the rest of the game. Now, um, I've revealed Dragon Tail by hitting this Dragalge, so I don't really know why Chris has brought in the Pidgeot and keeps clicking Workup. Um, I would have imagined the damage would have been a lot better on my Milotic than him setting up when he knows I have Dragon Tail. So um, I, I do click Dragon Tail, and in comes the Latias. It can't really do much to me, and I have revealed that I have got Toxic. So he won't want that thing toxic. And in comes the Dragon Algae again. And again, I can't touch it with um, with my Milotic. So I go into Mamoswine because I do resist the Sludge Wave, which I am very much expecting. Would have been a bit risky if he went for something like a Dragon Pulse or a Draco. But it paid off. Um, and I'm going to get my rocks up this game because he could have removal on the Latias or the Mega Pidgeot. But the Stealth Rocks is going to be nice for um, a, a bit of chip damage every time he wants to switch out. Um, I bring in the Milotic because it's my thing that will deal with this the best, the Celesteela defensively. Uh, he goes for the Leech Seed and misses, so uh, that's unfortunate. I go for the Scald and he does hit the Leech Seed this time. Um, I don't know if we've seen Protect yet, but he does have Protect, so... He can very much easily stall out anything I have defensively with Leech Seed, Protect, and his leftovers. So at this point I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to have to go offensive. He goes for the Heavy Slam. Um, I figured Victini would be a safe play because he's either going to click Heavy Slam and Stab or a Grass Move. Either way, Victini can come in quite nicely. Um, the Protect on the Celesteela proves to be a real pain this game. I'll be honest with you because obviously he now knows I'm going to go for V-Crate. He doesn't know I'm Scarfed at that point. Um, but he could probably expect it because I do need something to be scarfed to outspeed a lot of his things. Um, so I pull a double here, expecting him to go into Latias because it is his uh, best fire resist. Um, and I go into my Mega Sceptile because I just want to click Dragon Pulse at this point. I should have seen Celesteela coming in. Um, it's going to be that or it's going to be his Dragalge. Uh, I could have clicked Leech Seed there and very much kept my Sceptile at a higher health. Because Mega Sceptile, if you look at his team, deals with a lot of things on his team really well. Um, so I kind of misplayed here and stayed in with uh, and click Leech Seed. I should have clicked that the first turn and then swapped out to something like my Milotic because then I would have been able to stall out his uh, Celesteela just like he could try and stall out my Milotic. So um, in comes the Horlucha. This thing is actually Scarfed. I stayed in and just clicked Dragon Pulse because I thought I could get some good damage off on this thing. Turns out he's Scarfed though and uh, he brings in the Crook. Now there is literally nothing I can do to stop the Stealth Rocks coming at this point. I don't think I can one-shot anything or outspeed it. So I go into Milotic and figure it's going to be my chance to recover. He does actually stay in and click the Stealth Rocks, so that's unfortunate. Um, and in comes the Dragalge again, which I can't really touch. One of my ways of killing it in Mega Sceptile is now dead, so I literally have to rely on Mamoswine. Um, I could also do it with Victini, but obviously Victini is Choice Scarf, so I have to be locked into Zen Headbutt. And he still has his Crook and his Latias around, which is not ideal. Um, I go for the Dragon Tail again because uh, I, I want to get rid of that Dragalge. I actually think his Dragalge had Dragon Tail because there was a time when I outsped his Dragalge with it. So unless he went for another minus priority sort of move, then who knows what he was running. But I go for the Scald. It doesn't kill this Crook because um, it's uh, a fat mon. Uh, and uh, I I'm actually going to go down. Oh no, I'm going to recover here, sorry. Um, so... I do love the knockoff which that crook did uh, hit me with. So it does make me a bit of a better switch into that crook going forward if, if I need one. I'm going to go into Floor just here because I have the Kevia Berry, which is uh, excellent. Um, and I, I take that quite well. Now I'm sitting here thinking, what do I do? I could try and kill this thing or do some good damage. But I'm going to go for that Worry Seed, thinking I can then live um, a Sludge Wave. But no, he crits me. And I think if he didn't crit me, I would have lived that because I'm maxed for death. Um, and he didn't have adaptability anymore. So that would have then forced a switch uh, where I could have tried to heal up something like Mamoswine. But that didn't quite work out for me. Uh, so in comes uh, the Crook. I have to click some Headbutt because I need that Dragology dead. Uh, because this thing's burnt, uh, I kind of don't really mind if he wants to stay in here and, and suck it off. If he switches out, I'm going to hit something with his Zen Headbutt. 
I stay in, um, because I can't switch out. Again, he gets another crit, pointless crit, but that's two deaths to crits right now, which is unfortunate. Um, to say the least, I didn't actually realise either of them were crits in the game until now, or, or upon watching the replay until now, so that's that's slightly annoying. Um, but I go into Heliolisk here, and sadly for me, he brings in more Lucha. We know it's Scarf, because it outsped my, um... Septile, so I have to sack something off. I have to sack Minotic off and just kind of hope I can bring in Mammoth Swine and kill it with Ice Shard. Um, but I should have seen it coming. He was going to switch out because he can easily preserve a 4 or a 5 0 hit. And in comes the Celesteela. If I had clicked Ice School Crash there um, twice, I would have either killed the Celesteela or killed something else on his team. Because at this point, is I mean, four of his five mons are weak to ice, which is lovely. And I do have Stealth Rocks up, so um, I have to try and try and salvage something here. I'm not going to win, I already appreciate that, but I've got to try and get some sort of credible score. Um, I lost 4-0 last week, so if I, I can at least bring it down to a 4-0 this week, that would be something, I guess. Um, but in comes Dragalgian, we already know I can't really touch this thing. However, two Hyper Voices will actually take this thing out, thank you to the Stealth Rocks, and Black Sludge isn't enough to recover him up. I killed the Dragalgy with a crit, it really didn't matter, but um, neither did the Pursuit, so I, I guess we're even on that front. In comes the Latias, um, I go for the Dark Pulse here, it does 37%, so I don't know if it's a roll to kill this thing. He doesn't have leftovers, so I'm thinking, okay, I might be able to get this down to a 3-0. I'm going to click Hyper Voice, because I'm thinking he could just go into Horlucha if I do that again. Um, but nope, he lives the Hyper Voice on 5% and is able to click Roost. Which is sad, I should have gone for the Dark Pulse anyway and just gone for a flinch. That damage from a Dark Pulse on Horlucha probably would have meant that Ice, um, Ice Shard would have killed it anyway. So, uh, should have clicked Dark Pulse and hoped for the flinch or got a roll and killed it. But, uh, that didn't obviously work out for me. In comes Mammo Swine. Uh, I go for the Desperate Ice Shard to try and bring it to a 3-0, but I don't quite take out the Latias. So, that's the game uh, against Chris. It was a 4-0, but he's sort of reflecting upon it. That Celesteela was quite weak. Pidgeot and... Well, Lucha at about half, and the Latias is nearly dead, so closer than maybe the score leads on. But again, I think my major downfall this game was not bringing hazard removal. Um, something I will, I mean, it's because I kind of built my team quite quick um, just before the game. I'll admit I didn't get much thought or much time to put much thought into it, but I can't use that as an excuse because I should have really seen that he had Toxic Spike option and my team doesn't appreciate them Toxic Spikes at all because I have no Grounded Poison types or uh, Levitating things in this team. So yeah, that's the game. Good game, Chris. Um, if you guys did enjoy this uh, video, make sure you leave a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there is definitely going to be more some, uh, some more League content coming up, um, which you might want to keep your eyes out for. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.